in his appointment as the, the new chairman of the Rules Committee, and I would yield four minutes to the chairman of the Rules Committee, Dr. Gentleman, Burgess. Gentleman from Texas is recognized for four minutes. And I thank my friend from Kentucky. Mr. Speaker, I do rise today in support of the rule and the underlying legislation. It is a new day in the House of Representatives, and I intend to make certain that this process works, and it works for all of us, that all members get to be heard, but at the end of the day, as Mr. Massey points out, after a fulsome debate, we are able to move forward for the American people. I want to specifically talk today on H.R. 7888, the Reforming Intelligence and Securing America Act, and H.R.S. 1117, opposing efforts to place one-sided pressure on Israel with respect to Gaza. Republicans remain concerned about the abuses that occurred under 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act in previous administrations. The rule before us provides consideration for reforms to FISA, including greater transparency and greater oversight for the American people. Mr. Speaker, in total, 56 reforms were made in response to concerns raised by our constituents. These reforms include prohibiting searches from the F by the FBI unrelated to national security and, politi and prohibits political appointees from being involved in the FBI's query process. The Rules Committee met last night to report this rule out of committee. And yes, it was a bit of a process. There are two significant changes to highlight from earlier in the week. The Rules Committee print changes the reauthorization from five years to two years. That's important. The reforms that are now incorporated in the new FISA reauthorization will be reevaluated by the next Congress as to whether or not they're actually working. So rather than a five-year reauthorization, we can look again in two years to make certain for our constituents, for the American people, that these reforms are actually working. And I certainly want to thank my friend from Texas, Mr. Roy, for, for bringing that forward. There are also changes in the reauthorization that strike Section 19C from the text altogether. The latter action was taken amid some confusion about whether 19C would have unintentionally permanently reauthorized Section 702. To help clear up any ambiguity, that section has now been removed. Ultimately, this legislation will ensure that the appropriate guardrails are in place to safeguard American constitutional rights and help keep Americans safe. Additionally, Mr. Speaker, I, I want to express my support for HRES 1117 offered by Ms. Salazar of Florida. Israel has a right to defend itself, especially after the, the notorious attacks by Hamas on October 7th. On April 4th, after a call between President Biden and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the White House released a press release stating that an immediate ceasefire is necessary. I would remind the White House that a ceasefire was in existence prior to the attack by Hamas. It is not right for the United States to pressure an ally to end a conflict that that ally did not begin. Mr. Speaker, Israel has a right to exist and a right to self-defense. The United States does not get to decide that for Israel. I would underscore that pathways for ensuring humanitarian aid, being able to enter Gaza and actually reach the Palestinian people and not be hijacked by their Hamas overlords. On April 5th, Israel opened up three new corridors for humanitarian aid. I appreciate the efforts to take responsibility for something Hamas has proven unwilling to do and hope that the conflict can soon come Gentlemen, to an end. I, expired. I yield an additional minute to the chairman of the rules. Gentlemen, Texas is recognized. I thank you, gentlemen. But one sided pressure by the White House is not the way to ensure that end. Mr. Speaker, I urge passage of this rule from our committee, and I urge passage of the underlying legislation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thanks to Mr. Massey. And I'll yield back the balance of my time. He's recognized. Gentleman from Kentucky Reserves, gentleman from Colorado is recognized. Uh, 